You can support me on Patreon for just a buck a month. Ladies and gentlemen, Christian Hannah Hoare here with my special guest, Chucky. Today, I had so much fun with the Friday the 13th franchise, the ranking, and I love the response that we're going to do the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, my favorite franchise of all time. My favorite. And here's my ranking. We're going to start it out. Coming in last is uh, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Now, I know some of you may be saying that's a great movie. I do think it is. You know, unlike... In Friday the 13th, when I said Jason X was the was the only bad movie, in Nightmare, I don't think there is a bad movie. You know, I guess I just don't get New Nightmare. Obviously, I get what it's about. I just don't. When I watch the movie, I don't. I don't gr get. Gr I don't gravitate towards it very much. Um, I don't like Heather Langenkamp's performance in this. There's nothing against it. It just doesn't grab me very well. Um, I, I'm not intrigued by the story of a real Freddy that, that, you know, the way that I wasn't really intrigued by the story. Now I do think it was a well-made film. Um, and the cast was good. Everybody acted great. It just did not really get, get that feeling for me. I don't know. I, I maybe a, a week from now I can rewatch this and get it maybe a, a month from now. But as for right now, a uh, new nightmare is just not a movie. I really love a whole lot. Um, do you think the look of Freddy was good? I do like that that sleek German look of Freddy. Uh, I, I like the claw and everything. Now, I don't prefer it over the original style, but there's not really a physical thing about the movie I don't like. I just don't enjoy it as much as the actual Nightmare on Elm Street franchise itself. So, you know, unfortunately, um, this movie comes last, but that doesn't mean that I think it's bad. Okay, so I love every movie in the franchise, but I'm ranking accordingly. Okay, the next movie is Freddy's Dead. You know, Freddy's Dead is a movie that um, I think it was a little too comedic. I don't. I wish that it would have taken a different approach. I get it. I think they realized at that point there's no way you can scare people with Freddy anymore. But I think they wanted to try to go the other route and make a Looney Tunes style cartoon. Now, there was talk about when Twin Peaks came out that it was a big influence on the style of the show. And Twin Peaks was a quirky, weird show that David Lynch made. Great show. Uh, and they tried to give that element in this movie. Now, my gripe about that was that style of humor and acting in Twin Peaks works perfect for the show. Doesn't exactly translate well into a slasher movie atmosphere and I think that was one thing now granted there are some great kills in this movie I love the ear the, the ear aid exploding on Carlos was great um, the power glove thing was was funny you know and I, I, I understand that it's trying to be a funny movie and I can appreciate that but unfortunately it does not rank very high on this list today coming in next is Friday the third Friday the 13th a Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. My biggest complaint with The Dream Master is the whole movie just seems to take place in daylight. Uh, even some of the dreams. And, there, you know, Robert England made mention, too, that this was the MTV Nightmare. This was the energetic new nightmare. No pun intended for the other new nightmare. But this was the energetic uh, young new audience, young teens, or, you know, teenage nightmare. And Rennie did a fantastic job. There are great scenes in this movie, especially in the in the the uh, junkyard where Freddy comes back to life. Great scenes, a very visually appealing film. Excuse me. Uh, it just doesn't. It, I have I have very particular tastes. I am a very I like the dark art look of movies. I like you know uh, haunting aspects in horror movies and and things that kind of just have a dark medieval kind of feel not necessarily medieval but just a dark overtone to the movie and i don't get that from nightmare on elm street 4 uh the look of freddy was fantastic i thought um the casting was great uh i like this this timeline uh with alice in this story so 4 is a fabulous movie uh visually though doesn't grab me as much as this next movie 
And this is a controversial high pick, but A Nightmare on Elm Street 5. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 5 is a movie that I think is underappreciated, and I think it's about time, you know, someone speaks up for this movie. I even made a video a long time ago called Defending A Nightmare on Elm Street 5. Um, I think the only problem with this movie was just how it came out too quick. Uh, I think it was the, the Halloween 5 syndrome it had. I think it competed with 4, 4 was coming out on video and things. Um, I'm cool with the the storyline of Freddy being involved with the new baby, uh, the dream child. I thought it was a cool arc for the story. You know, it's the fifth in the series, so you expect things to kind of mature. Um, I like the look of this movie more than anything. Not just necessarily the story. And the kills are great. The motorcycle, that is so... It's so uh, brilliant to me and just... And, and and smart the way Freddy was the motorcycle and getting into, you know, I thought that was great with Dan. Um, the comic book, uh, no, it's not scary, but visually it's beautiful. And Super Freddy is great. I just really like the look of this movie with the gothic castles and the darkness. And this is more of a darker film, literally. Uh, it's got a darker scope. And I thought that was great. And it has that great late, late, late 80s feel to it that I like a lot. And uh, I recommend you guys go give Nightmare on Elm Street 5 a shot again. Coming in next is A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Uh, I will go on record and say that personally this is my favorite in the series. As far, you know, it's just my look of Freddy and everything and the story. But this is a ranking the franchise and there's a lot more to it than just which my favorite is. I'm, I'm talking... You know, cinematography, uh, writing, the whole thing. So, Nightmare on Elm Street 2 is going to come in at number 3 for me today. I love, I love the story of this and the metaphor of Jesse and the whole homosexual thing. I think it's awesome. I love it. Um, and it was something that until that documentary came out, I didn't realize it either. But, excuse me, I better not fall asleep. Freddy's going to get me. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2 is not a particularly well-made movie. Uh, you could tell that there were problems in with this movie as far as some of the editing is a little is a little bad in it. Um, but there's a there's a charm to two, and like David Cheskin said, you know this one took a turn, but there was no series yet. This was two. I mean, this was the first movie that came out after the original. But over time, this movie has graced people a lot better and I think that a lot of people are really starting to open up to 2 and it's high time for that I think 2 is a great movie the look of Freddy is haunting Freddy looks like a demon in part 2 doesn't look like this at all ever in the series again if you're going to run into a Freddy the last one you want to run into is a part 2 Freddy excuse me I'm making this video late at night this is so poetic Part 2 Freddy is horrifying. That would be the last one you would want to run into. Coming in at number 2. Are you guys ready for this? A Nightmare on Elm Street. Obviously, you know what my number 1 is, but let's talk for a second. Nightmare on Elm Street, the most classic, one of the most classic horror movies ever. There's not much wrong with this movie at all. Nightmare on Elm Street is a pure classic. The Freddy character was born in this movie. Uh, Wes Craven created one of the greatest characters of all time. This movie is just great. The, the cheap effects, but in this movie with the with the spandex on the wall with Freddy coming, in the, it looks like a million bucks. This movie is pure perfection. It really is. But there is one more that I think is a little bit more perfect. And I don't think I'm alone with this. My number one is A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, The Dream Warriors. This is one of those rare cases where this is The Godfather Part 2 to me. This movie is perfect. It, it you know, like, like people have talked about, it takes new characters, brings them in, you really care about them, and has old characters you still care about. This movie had the perfect blend, the hint of comedy in it, but it was perfect. Wouldn't you agree? This movie... Uh, you got the full package. You've got the docking. You've got the great kills. You've got the great scenes. 
You've got good a good story, a relatable story. You can feel like you're part of you're one of these kids, and you really care. There's not a bad actor. There's not a bad role in this movie. Every role in this movie was perfect, and it just has a little bit more charm to me. The look of Freddy was great. It's moving the series forward and moving it in the right direction, and it just hits the nail on the head. Dream Warriors, to me, is the best movie in this franchise. Obviously, you know the drill. Please let me know your guys' picks in this. I can't wait to see what you guys say. This is my ranking of the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. And uh, this is Christian Hannah Horror. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.